Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. This is going to be a little different video. In fact, I'm going to consider this a more advanced video. So if this is your first time in 90 Second Website Builder, or if this happens to be the first video you watch, you might want to watch another one. You might want to watch, you know, a video about working with text and images or one of the more basic um, functions. I'm going to show you something very, very fascinating about using 90 Second Website Builder, but we're going to think out of the box a little bit. A lot of people have asked me, what if I've downloaded um, or I own an HTML template, some other kind of website template, maybe that you got from a template site or that you purchased somewhere. Can I use that in 90 Second Website Builder? Well, the answer to that question really depends on the template. There are ways that you can bring in some of the assets of that template. For example, obviously it's easy to drag and drop the images into place and copy paste the text. But is there an easier way to do that? And, and a lot of templates these days come with style sheets and a lot of other files that make the website a little more complex. Well, the good news is there is an easy way to bring in an existing HTML website template into 90 Second Website Builder. It's not 100% foolproof, but for the most part, it will make your work a lot easier when you're trying to convert an existing HTML website into a 90 Second Website Builder project. It's fascinating, actually. Now, to discuss this plainly, what I'm going to do is show you a conventional template. As you can see, I've got 90 Second Website Builder open on my desktop, but I'm not going to use 90 Second just yet. I'm just opening a window here on my desktop where I've stored a template that I've downloaded from one of my favorite uh, template websites. And most templates are going to look something like this. They're going to come with pages. These would be the web pages. Of course, they're HTML documents. And a lot of times they'll have what's called a style sheet or a CSS file, a cascading style sheet. And this is the programming behind the website that decides on the font color and the background color and all the styles. And then there'll be a, an images folder. And inside here, this is where all the images are stored for this particular website. Most templates are going to have this kind of a structure. A lot of them will be a lot more complex. They'll have other files, like maybe some JavaScripts or some other kind of complicated uh, programming, PHP files, etc. So for the most part, you're going to want to work with a template that has a more simple structure. HTML files, not PHP. Uh, a style sheet is okay. And of course, an images folder. Now, if I was to edit this website conventionally, in other words, if I didn't have 90 Second Website Builder software, I would need an HTML editor, something like Dreamweaver, so that I could get into these files and really uh, work with them. But of course, that's complicated. That's why you bought 90 Second Website Builder, so that you wouldn't have to do that. But I'm going to show you that anyway, so you can see what we're working with. So if I didn't have 90 Second Website Builder, I'd have to open up these files in Dreamweaver, and this is what it would look like. And I would, you know, have access, of, co of course, to the code, and I would be able to edit the uh, website in this piece of software. This particular version of uh, Dreamweaver, CS5, is about a $400 program. And you know, it's what a professional would use uh, to access uh, the code. Here's the style sheet that, you know, decides the color of the fonts and the size of the fonts, and all that good stuff. Okay, so as you can see, we're working with a very professional, conventional website here. And here are the files for that. Now, here's the cool part. Let's say you aren't using Dreamweaver. You're probably not. That's why you're watching this video. But you have this HTML template that you want to use in 90 second. Well, how do you do it? Well, you're going to be blown away because there's a way to do it. I'm going to go up here to the, now I'm in 90 second website builder, by the way, I'm going to go up here to the page menu. And there's a feature here called import HTML page. Now this is going to allow me to bring in the HTML code from another template. And it's very amazing what it does. So I'm going to click this. And I can get that template from a website that's on the internet, or I can get it uh, from what's local to my computer, which I, what I have. So I've stored, I've downloaded this template, so it's stored on my computer in a folder. I'm gonna go get it, and here we are. Now this is incredible. Remember, this website contains uh, five HTML files, an images folder, 
And then let me show you the rest of it. It's also got a style sheet. But watch what happens. 90 Second Website Builder is actually smart enough to take this stuff and put it all in one project for me. I'm going to use this page because this page has a form on it. I want to show you. And I'm going to click open. Watch what happens. Now, believe it or not, what 90 Second Website Builder just did is it brought that page into my software and made a project out of it. And not only did it bring in all of the assets, the images and the text and the basic layout, but it even was smart enough to go get that CSS file, that cascading style sheet and build it into the page for me. That's right. If you were to right click here and look at the page HTML, if you're familiar with HTML at all, you'll see that this stuff right here came directly from the CSS file. Now, for those of you that are a little more advanced, you should be amazed at that because that's incredible what this program just did. So at the click of a button, I literally brought in an outside template. You'll notice it's not perfect. And most times it's gonna not be perfect. It's gonna require you to do some tweaks. But as you can see, that was way faster than copy, pasting, and dragging in images. And now I've got something I can work with. So I've got, I can click around and all of these have become clickable objects, just like you're used to with 90 second. And I can move them around, put them into place, change the way they look, etc. Even these images here can be moved around because what it did was it broke those images up and brought it into my project for me. You'll notice this particular page had a form on it and 90 second recognized that because of the code and it brought in the form. So here's my form object and here are the objects within the form. Pretty cool. So all I would need to do is double click on this and I would need to set up my form. If you don't know how to do that, watch the working with the forms video so you can make that form work. But as you can see, it just saved me a ton of time just by importing this. But there's going to be tweaks and things to change. So for example, look at this piece of text. It's a little bit out of whack. So I'm going to have to touch things up. I may even want that to be smaller. Well, I can, of course, take care of that easily in 90 Second Website Builder. Simple to do, simple to bring in something existing and then work with it from there. Everything becomes a clickable object. This is a text object now. This is an image object. This is an image object for you to work with with the tools you're used to in 90 Second Website Builder.